Hi and welcome to my new video how to set up city sample crowds in Android Engine 5.5. First we create a new project and I will choose a third person template for that. Let's call it city sample crowds 5.5 and click on create. Here we go to edit plugins and search for mass crowd and enable the mass crowd plugin. Close the plugin window and go. Next, we add the city sample crowds package to our project. Click to add to project, show all and search for your name. Here we need to select 5.3s version because there is no update for this package at the moment. I already downloaded it, so I think we have to wait a few seconds. And we can close this window. Next, we will open the character blueprint, go to the content browser, city sample crowd, blueprints, and open the BP crowd character blueprint. This will check if we have any missing settings, like this one, and we can click on enable missing, missing settings to fix this. In Unreal Engine 5.5, we have a new error in the get save copy function. My solution is to click on make array, delete this empty array and click on compile. Now the check will continue, but we have to wait for the groom bindings. And when they are ready, we can click on enable missing to enable the last missing settings. Click on save and yeah, restart the project. Okay, now we will reopen the blueprint. I think we have to wait for the groom bindings again. Yeah. And when they are ready, we can continue the work. Okay, we need to reparent the character blueprint. Now it's skeleton mesh actor, but we need character. Go to class settings, go to parent class, search for character, choose this one, and now click on reparent. Now you can see we have five new errors. Click on Skeleton Mesh Component and we need to replace all with this one first. The second, the third one, number four, and the last one. Compound safe. You can see no errors left. Now we will move the skeleton mesh components from the blueprint into the mesh component one by one. Sometimes the projects crash when I try to move all at one time. Okay. Click on Mesh and now place the character in the capsule. Set the right direction, compile and save. Now we need to add the mass agent. Click on Add, search for mass and add the mass agent. In the settings, go to Entity Config and at three traits. The first one, Agent Capsule Collision Sync. Deselect Sync Transform. 
and set it to actor to mass. Next, we add agent movement and agent orientation sync. Both are mass to actor. Very important for the spawning and when we make a mistake here, it could be that the meta humans are not working and they are working in the place. Yeah. Compile and save. Now it's time to create our first animation blueprint and we will start with a very simple one. Go to animation, animation blueprint and select the S key base S skeleton. Click on create. I will call it crowd character anim blueprint and open it. Now I will search for a uh, forward walk animation. I think I will choose this one. Drag it into the anim graph. Enable loop animation and connect it to the output pose. Compile, save and we can close the animation blueprint. Back to the character, go to mesh and here in the animation blueprint we will select our new created one. And you can see the character is moving now. Compile, save. Okay. Now it's time to create a level with the zone graphs. The zone graphs are the parts where the meta humans can work. Okay, go to File, New Level. I choose the basic template and click on Create and Resize a Window. Important thing, um, go to Show Developer and activate zone graph. This enables that we are able to see the zone shapes and zone graphs on the level. Um, when this is not enabled, you can drag the zone shape, but it will not be displayed. Yeah. Now I will add our first zone shape. Search for the zone, zone shape and place it into the level. You can see we don't have a valid profile, so we need to create one. Click on create edit lane profile and add the first profile. We call it pets and add two lanes, one for forward and one for backward. And I will set 100. You can play with the settings. Um, go to tags. I will add a new tag, call it pads, and activate this tag here in the deselector default one. Okay, I think these settings are good enough for the beginning. Save your level. Back to the zone shape. You can see the profile is already selected, but we need to select our tag. I think the uh, zone shape is. Oh. Okay. Go to one of the ends, hold the Alt key and now you can resize the shape with your mouse and create your pass. Uh, not good. Okay, this one. I have many, 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 many problems when I try to connect it with only one shape. Um, that's the reason why I will add a new shape. Be sure profile and text are the same. Um, okay, now we need to place the shape into our level like so. Now 
don't think it's too high. Yeah, okay. And now we try to connect the shapes. Why I can't see? It's a color problem, okay. Yes, it's connected. Uh, this is not so good. I'll go back here. Ah, I hate it. Okay, it's not perfect, but I think it's good enough for the beginning. You see, it's not so easy to create the zone shapes, but it's easier to connect them in Unreal 5.5 um, as in other in the older Unreal engines. Okay, save. Um, next, we need to create our state tree. Go back to the content browser artificial intelligence state tree select mass behavior and we will call it as cc state tree open it go to root go to task and add a new task on wonder target and in the alert text we go to any text and here we select our pets tag next we need to add the pass follow and here select this options compile save i think that's it Okay, now we create the mass entity config. Type on data, select data asset, search for mass, and select the type mass entity config asset. We call it CCEC and open it. Okay, now we need to add some traits. The first one assorted fragments, and here we need to add three fragments. First one, mass actor fragment, the transform fragment, and the agent radius fragment. Okay. Next we add the quote resolution fragment and here we need to select our blueprint for the characters nice now go to params LOD representation and I will select the crowd character um, here for low, medium, and high. And I choose high, high, high because we only have one blueprint. Um, you can play with the settings and have a look what's the best for you. Um, okay. Let's close this and add more traits. Next one zone graph navigation. Here we need to set our tag again. Okay, next crowd member. Oh, okay, we have it. Some graph navigation. Avoidance. Movement. Orient. 
rotation, no steering. Smooth orientation, okay. Smooth orientation. The LOD collector. And the last one is a state tree. Okay, state tree. And here we need to select our state tree. Save and check with this button. If the config is valid, there are no errors. Nice. Okay. Back to the level. We already create our paths with the zone graphs, with the zone shapes. We need to go to build, build zone graph. And now we can add the mass spawner. Okay. I think we spawn 25 people. Add the entity type and select our config. In the spawn data generators, we need to add this one. Shoe zone graph spawn points generator and in the zone graph generator config settings we need to select our tech uh, last time. Okay, save this level. Uh, we'll resize this and go to play. Okay, we can see that. The meta human is working, but why is this only one type? Oh, the random option. Okay, go back to the character, search for a random. Here we have random options, and we need to enable this one. Okay, compile and save. Go back, play. Okay, now we. I have to wait before I can move because new textures and shadows and everything like that are preparing. You see, now we have different peoples, different meta humans, through the random options. Um, I think the first two starts sometimes are very slow, but when the settings are created and the textures are prepared um, the following starts are much faster okay now i can move and we can see the meta units are moving too very fast i think that's because i choose this animation uh, run animation yeah maybe okay Second one. Uh, some shadows need to prepare. Yeah. I have to wait. Okay, now it's ready. And we can see everything is working fine, I think. We have different kinds of meta humans. They are working. Um, I don't like the animation, but we can replace it in the next part. Uh, yeah, we need to replace it. Okay. Next, I think that is everything for this moment. And I hope you enjoy it. When you have questions, um, go for it. And I wish everybody a nice day. Bye.